welcome to your daily writing habit, episode number 498. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book you've started to write, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. If you wait for inspiration to write, you're not a writer, you're a waiter. Dan Pointer. Hope you see the humor in that one. (laughs) And once again, good morning, happy Saturday. And I know we usually do kind of fun topics here on Saturdays, but I've been having deep thoughts lately. And by lately, I mean like most of this year. (laughs) Here's one, and bear with me because it's not as morbid as maybe it might sound at the beginning. I was thinking how as humans and kind of quote unquote higher, higher species, we have remarkably little power over our physical existence. We're unable to repair ourselves in many situations, maybe even most situations, if you think about it, and we're never able to regenerate ourselves. So this year in particular, we've learned the damage that can be done by like a tiny glob of genetic material, this like microscopic little parasite that literally isn't even capable of living outside of a host. That's what a virus is, by the way. It's not an organism. It's not a living thing. It's like it it needs to be attached to us to even exist. So for all powerful humans, when you think about it, our bodies make us pretty darn vulnerable. I believe this is one of the main reasons that art exists, that creating, creativity, writing exists. We create in an attempt to make sense out of this crazy existence, especially if we see ourselves as purely physical beings, that's pretty scary. So we write to make sense of this. We write to figure out for ourselves what it is to be a human. Then we share it with others as a way of sharing our version of the mirror that reflects human existence. We invite them to figure out their version of all this through our words. In the face of our fairly fragile physical existence, Writing, if you think about it, is a beautiful gift that we've been given, and it's a skill that anyone can learn, by the way. But writing is a gift. It's a skill. We all have access to it. It helps us understand that that existence just a little bit better. So my question is, how will you use the gift of writing today to better understand our existence? Thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And I would love for you to visit my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, and more. Inc. I-N-K Authors on Facebook. Until tomorrow, happy writing.